Flanges, isn't that a great word? I'm Danny, and I'm the DIY guru of Buy or DIY. Today's challenge, a new coffee table for the founder of the Toronto Guardian, Joel. He's looking for something that's minimal, wood, live edge, and will fit well in his face. This was part of a much bigger series where I go head to head with my design friend, Alexandra, who was out to find the perfect buy, which you can check out right there. But this is Behind the DIY. All right, guys, so I have all my materials here for Joel's DIY coffee table. So let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> I sourced all of my pipes at my local hardware store. First step, what I'm doing is taking my iron pipes. They're actually quite dirty, so if you hold them in your hand, you're gonna start to see this black come off. That's because these pipes have iron oxide from the manufacturers, um, and it also gives off a carbon dust. So what I'm gonna do is wipe all of my pipes down, give them a really good clean. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is arrange the base of my coffee table. This is kind of confusing. I feel like I'm playing that video game with the pipes and the water starts going through and you're like, oh my God, put something on there so it goes down. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so here's a good lesson in a pro tip right here. <laughs> when you're doing this, wear gloves or your hands will look like this. It's great. Okay. Let's put this together. So we have our six inch nipple on the bottom. I got my three inch nipple at the top with two flanges on each side and a crossbar right in the middle. Now I gotta recreate this three more times. My three foot iron pipe. Woo! Take a look at that. We got some legs. To make sure any leftover carbon doesn't come off these pipes, I'm using a finish spray to lock it all in. Gonna cover this up, it's gonna look real nice. All right guys, so I'm going to let this dry and then do probably with two more coats on it just to make sure it is nice and sealed. I'm moving on to my wood tabletop. As you can see, this has bark on both sides. This is what makes it a live edge table, but I gotta remove this, as you can see, this all comes off, and even if I put a finish on this, it's still gonna shed. So I'm gonna remove it, and I'm gonna use a chisel and a hammer to do it. You just wanna make sure that the flat side is facing your project, and you're just gonna lightly tap your chisel. Woo! You're gonna repeat this for your entire board. Yes! As you can see, it still looks a little rough and you can see all the chisel marks, but don't worry because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start sanding and this is gonna start to have a really nice smooth finish. So you wanna make sure you figure out which side you want facing up. I like the knots here. So I think I'm gonna use this as my side up. It's time to start sanding. I'm gonna start with an 80 grit using my orbital sander and we're gonna get all of the edges and our top. Now, I look like a true DIYer. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna take a steel wool, go right into the crevasses, and it really works out any like last minute scuffs that I don't want. This is a tack cloth. It's sticky, so what it's meant for is to be able to clean up any of your projects, and it's gonna grab all that dust to make sure that it doesn't get locked into your finish when you put your top coat on. And now I just need to do a quick vacuum to make sure my entire surface is clear. All right, to get back on track, we're done with the tack, and we're moving on to shellac. <laughs> Should copyright that. So what I have here is a shellac finish and sealer. It's leaving behind a bit of an amber color. This is what a shellac does. Oh, look at that. This is what I love about finish and sealers. Once you start to bring it, it out onto these little nuts in the board, oh, it just looks so good. Okay, I think I am happy with this first coat of shellac. It looks amazing. So what I'm gonna do is let this dry for about 40 minutes, and then I'm gonna come back and do another layer of sanding with a 120 grit, and then I'm gonna put another layer of shellac on, and then I'm gonna do another sand with a 220 grit, and then put on a final coat of shellac. 
All right, so I've put on all of my finish, and just to give it a final finish, I'm putting on a oil in finish. Joel can spill anything he wants, and this baby is gonna clean just fine. All right, so this is completely covered. I'm gonna let this dry, and once we're done, we're ready to add some legs. I've turned my tabletop over. I'm going to add these heavy duty pads just to make sure we protect Joel's floors. So what I'm gonna do is trace out the size of the flange, cut it, peel it off, stick it on, bam, floor protected. All right, let's do the other ones. All right, let's add these legs to this table, shall we? This is a one and a half inch flat head screw, and what that's gonna do is sit directly inside my flange. So let's do it. All right, the moment of truth. Ta-da! You have your wonderful live edge natural top, and then we have these beautiful industrial pipes underneath. It looks masculine, it looks sleek. This is a beautiful DIY project. I have five myself because <laughs> there's no one here to high five me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved this project. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I'll see you next week.